Hey, I'm going to attempt to do an interactive card trick with you at home in which you are going to pick five cards and I'm going to try to guess all five of the cards that you pick at home. First thing you have to do, and a very important thing, is get a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I need you to write whatever I wrote here. I need you to number from one to five, okay? Then I need you to put card that you picked, okay? You can make five dashes and then put row on top over here, okay? This will all become clear to you, okay? So you can number one to five, card that you picked, and row over here, okay? And that piece of paper, keep next to you. Get a pen, get a, 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 a magic marker, whatever you want to do, a pencil, okay, while I shuffle the deck. And now, here's what I'm going to do. To start the trip, I'm going to lay down five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to put four more cards on each pile. Doesn't matter which way I go or which one I do it. To prove it to you, I'm just going to put them random here. Doesn't really matter, okay? What I want you to do now is get that piece of paper, okay? And you're only going to concentrate on your number one, your very first choice. And that's going to be in this pile over here. So there's no way on earth that I could know any of these cards or you until now. So I'm going to show you all five cards. Hopefully the camera is getting this really, really clear. And you can see all five. I need you to pick one of these five cards right now and write them down as your first choice on the paper. Just put it right here. Just put that card right here. Okay? Now, you're going to make your second choice from these five cards. Okay? I need you to look at all five of these cards and pick any one you want. Don't tell me. Don't even tell your next door neighbor or your wife. I need you to pick one of these cards and write it down in that number two position on the paper right over here. Just put it right over here, that card. Okay? Now, same thing for pile number three. I'm going to show you all five cards that we mixed up at random and there's no way I could know what you're thinking or what you're writing down. But I need you to pick one of these five cards and I need for you to write it down. Yes, you're starting to get this right here in the third position. Put it right over there. Put that card over there because, you know, people forget things. We're not going to remember five cards for later on in the trick and what number we chose them. Now, this is the fourth card I want you to pick. So I want you to look at all five of these cards and just pick one out in your head. You're thinking too loud. I'm starting to hear you. So think softer. And I need you to put that card that you just remembered and put it on number four. I'll put it number four. And finally, okay, I need you to look at all five of these cards, okay, and pick any one of these five as your fifth choice, okay? Any one of these five and put that down right over here in the fifth spot, okay? So now you should have five cards that you chose, okay? There's no way I could know what those five cards are. Now if you were here, I'd ask you to pick up any pile and put it on another pile, put it on any other pile. In other words, mix it up, put it on any pile you want. And then I'd ask you to put the five cards down in any order you want. You could put, put it down like this, okay? You could put it down going across. You could put it down starting on the outside and work your way in. Okay, you could start on the inside and work your way out. Okay, you could just put it down any way you want as long as they're mixed up. And then I'd ask you to pick up the piles in any order again. Okay, any way you want, you would pick it up. Okay, and now if you were here, I'd ask you to cut the deck a few times. So I'm going to cut the deck three times. How's that? Okay, now comes my little papers. Okay, and these are very important. These are going to be the rows that you have written down on your paper. Okay, this is going to be row one, 
This is going to be row two. This is going to be row three. I'm looking at the camera at the same time to make sure I'm getting all of this in. That's row four and that's row five. How's that? Is that pretty even? All right. So that's our rows. Now remember the rows. We wrote rows on the paper. Okay. So now we're going to take the cards that are all mixed up and we're going to put them down in rows. So in row one we have ten of clubs, three of hearts, ten of spades, five of clubs, and the ace of spades. Okay, here's the cards in row two. Two of diamonds, eight of diamonds, four of hearts, six of hearts, and the king of diamonds. In row three we have the five of hearts, the jack of clubs, the ten of hearts, the Queen of Hearts and the Ace of Hearts. In row four, we have the Jack of Hearts, the Three of Spades, the Seven of Spades, the Six of Diamonds, and the Queen of Diamonds. And finally, in row five, we have the Nine of Clubs, the Six of Spades, the Two of Spades, the Two of Hearts, and the Ten of Diamonds. So these are the cards in row one, these are the cards in row two, row three, row four, and row five. What I need you to do now, in order for me to guess all five of your cards, is to go back to that paper that we did at the very beginning. And take a look at the card you chose as your very first choice, the very first card that you wrote down. And I need for you to write down what row it's in, okay? So you're going to look at that card and you're going to write down, is that, do you see that card in row one, in row two, in row three, in row four, or in row five? And when you see it, and you see the row it's in, I need you to write it right here corresponding with your first choice. Okay? Now I need you to look at your second card. Okay? Take a look and see what card you chose. And write down, is that card in row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, or row 5? And I need you to write it down corresponding with your second choice. Now I need you to go down to the third choice. Take a look and see what card you chose. And write down the row that that card's in. So is your third card in row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, or row 5? Write it down. Now I need you to look at your fourth card choice at the very beginning. Take a look and see what card it is. And now I need you to tell me what row your fourth choice it was in. Is it in 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5? Write it down. Very important. And finally, look at your fifth and final choice. See what card you chose and write down the row that that's in. Is that is your fifth choice in row one, two, three, four, and five? All I need for you, to, for you to do is to send me back an email, send me back a message, any way you want to write it to me. And I need two things from you: I need your number choice, and I need your row. So you're going to say choice one, row uh, two; choice two, row two; choice three, row five; choice four, row four. Choice five, row one. Of course, I'm just making up the rows. I have no idea what rows your cards are in. So right now, I just need you to do that. So you're going to send me two two numbers. You're going to send me number one and a number here. You're going to send me number two and a number corresponding with two. Three and a number with three. Four and a number with four. Five and a number with five. Do not tell me your card. That's my job. I am going to guess all five of your cards. 